Hello and welcome to Enterclimate. My name is Shalin Verma and today in this video we will see the biomass pellet manufacturing business. So let's get started. Densified biomass also called biomass pellets is an emerging form of biomass fuel that can be made from agricultural biomass, wood waste, commercial grasses and residues from farms, yards or forest. These biomass pellets manufacturing businesses are in huge demand after the national mission on use of biomass in coal-based thermal power plants was launched on 12th of July 2021. This mandated the thermal power plants in the country to use 5% of biomass pellets for co-firing with coal. Co-firing is the process of using agricultural waste in electricity generation by adding agricultural biomass as a partial replacement fuel in coal-based boilers. According to some reports, using agricultural biomass to produce fuels will account for more than 40% of all the renewable fuels being used globally. Let's understand the Government of India's vision towards the use of biomass fuel. The Ministry of Power has mandated co-processing throughout the country to address the issue of air pollution in India, particularly in the northern Indian regions of Delhi and CR. The government has also undertaken following steps to aid the setup of biomass pellet manufacturing businesses in the country. A customized government e-marketplace portal for business pellet procurement has been launched. The biomass sector has been notified as a priority sector lending item by RBI. The SBI has launched a dedicated scheme to provide long-term loans to pellet manufacturers. This will enable an easier and faster availability of bank loans for the business setup. Now let's come to the manufacturing process of biomass pellets. So biomass pellet manufacturing involves grinding and drying the raw biomass material which is then compressed using pellet press. Biomass pellets have no contamination, are cheaper than coal, diesel and natural gas and the raw materials for its production is, is abundantly present in almost all corners of the country. Therefore, biomass is being increasingly accepted as a replacement for conventional fuels. Now let's see the advantages of setting up a biomass pellet manufacturing plant. So biomass pellets have broad applications and can be used as fuel for homes and industrial facilities. They are renewable and have a very low carbon footprint. Biomass pellets are efficient and have a high energy density also. No external binder is required in the pelletization process which makes the pellets more environmentally friendly. The pellets have a high energy density which makes them more efficient to transport and store. Biomass co-firing helps minimize greenhouse gases emissions. Now let's understand how you can start a biomass pellet manufacturing business. So the first step is formulating a business plan. For starting this business, it's essential to have a reliable source of bio waste supply for a continuous supply of raw materials. At the same time, finding customers for the pellets is also essential. Therefore, the following points must be considered during the business planning. The first is sourcing of raw material. So raw material is sourced from agricultural fields and wood processing units like the pulp and paper industry. It can also include waste straws from crops like rice, wheat, jar, ragi, stalks from bajra, castor, arhar, cotton, jute, maize, etc. Spent cobs from corn, maize, ragi, etc. Other agricultural waste like cane tops, tea plant waste, cane trash, wood waste, etc. Now let's talk about the space required. For a small biomass pellet manufacturing plant, a decent area will be required for storing raw materials, installing machinery and storing the finished product. This can be done in approximately a 500 to 1000 square feet area in case of a small biomass plant. For a large scale business, the space requirement can be anywhere around 5 to 10 times that the space required for a small setup. The next step is finding the perfect location for the business. The location of a biomass manufacturing plant must be decided carefully by examining the source of raw materials to reduce the transportation cost. As the final products are pellets that are dried and compact, the weight is significantly reduced and can be trans transported easily. Therefore, a good connectivity through road is also desired. The next requirement in the business plan are utilities. The unit will need an uninterrupted supply of electricity which is also important as the process is largely automated. The next is sourcing of machinery. A number of domestic manufacturers in India are manufacturing semi-automatic to fully automatic machines and of different capacities. 
the prices of these pelletizing mills depends on the production capacity the features and the technical capabilities other required machineries in the setup will include wood chopper hammer mill dryer and cooler screening and packaging machine at the next stage the entrepreneur will have to apply for the relevant licenses and permits these will include the trade license from the local municipal corporation factories license fire noc pollution noc gst registration iec code in case of export msme registration solid waste management authorization now let's understand the investment that will be needed for this business for a small scale business that only makes wood pellet the investment requirement can be anywhere from 5 lakhs to 15 lakhs but to set up a plant with an ideal output including the cost of the plant machinery and running cost of utilities such as water and electricity the working capital for land a minimum investment of around 30 lakhs will be required now for a state of the art biomass pellet manufacturing business that can perform pelletizing bricketing of biomass etc the estimated cost can be around 5 crores or even more but there are some central government schemes apart from many state government schemes that can provide financial aid to the proponent so let's talk about the government assistance for setting up a biomass manufacturing unit the government has not only announced incentives stressing on increasing the capacity of pellet manufacturers several trainings for biomass pellet manufacturing has also been conducted by the national power training institute all over the country some of the financial subsidy schemes given by the government include the biomass program towards assistance in setting up biomass plant and a one time financial assistance for setting up pellets plant in the ncr region now if we take a look at the market opportunities for the pellet manufacturing business the biomass wood pellet industry demand is expected to grow substantially in the coming years more than 36 gigawatts of coal based thermal power plants have been successfully co-fired biomass in the country according to some reports pelletized biomass can potentially produce around 6% of the country's total electricity by 2030 31 in addition to direct biomass co-firing for electricity production If we consider the global pellet market it has been valued at 8.23 billion US dollars in 2022 and it is expected to grow at a CAGR of 6.75% during 2022 to 2023 so that was all we have for the setup of this business now the increased demand for biomass pellets has created an immediate need for such manufacturers this business can also cater to industries like the textile metal based industries food processing and the open market the demand from thermal power plants is also expected to rise exponentially after the remaining plants of the country complete their trial runs according to the power ministry's policy on biomass utilization nearly 0.25 to 3 million tons of biomass pellets can generate around 1 gigawatt of electricity at a 7% co-firing ratio that hints at a immediate future demand for these pellets So if you are looking for the assistance in the setup of this business look no further our licensing and environmental experts can assist you with all the approvals and legal formalities to start your own pellet manufacturing plant please like and share this video if you found it helpful thank you for watching